Hello guys, welcome to another SpaceX Updates video. In this video, we will talk about the potential static fire of Starship S24 later today, SpaceX's possible triple header launch day on Friday, and unexplained leaks on a Soyuz spacecraft at the International Space Station. Before the upcoming holiday break, SpaceX is up for another phase of testing at its Starbase testing site. First of all, an overpressure notice has been issued for a potential static fire test on Starship S24 today, the 15th of December. Since its last static fire of all six engines in September, few upgrades have been made to S24 including a few engine swaps. The test stand itself has now had some upgrades. It would be cool to see some Starship actions after a long time. The place has been quiet for a while now after the latest static fire on Booster 7. Before we proceed, if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to the channel, and please like the video. At the production site, an SBMT is being prepped with counterweights on, probably to roll out Booster 9. It's unlikely to roll out Booster 7 because the orbital launch mount is not ready to host a static fire test. A few days ago, a lot of robo-welders were spotted outside of the tent. This means more rapid production of Starship rockets. With the successful completion of the Artemis 1 mission, NASA would surely want SpaceX to demonstrate some Starship test flights in the near future which will eventually land its Artemis 3 and 4 missions on the Moon. 2023 will be the year where we will see a lot of Starship test flight missions. SpaceX is slated to create another record on Friday. This year's global leader in launching rockets is preparing to launch three missions from all its three operational launch pads on Friday. The first one is from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California which will launch NASA's surface water and ocean topography satellite at 6.46 a.m. ET. The other two missions which are yet to be officially confirmed by SpaceX will launch from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. If all three missions are launched on time, SpaceX will create another history for the shortest duration between three consecutive launches. Before we end, let us take a look at the problematic leaks on a Soyuz spacecraft that is currently docked at the International Space Station. A spacewalk of two Russian cosmonauts was planned to attach a radiator to the space station's NACA science module. But mission controllers on the ground spotted flakes flying out of the Soyuz spacecraft which were later confirmed as coolants leaking out of the cruise ship. The spacewalk was cancelled and the integrity of the spacecraft is being assessed. The Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft carried NASA astronaut Frank Rubio and Roscosmos cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Pedelin into space after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on September 21. Will the spacecraft be able to bring back the crew safely to Earth is still in doubt. With Crew Dragon and Starliner already in operation, why does NASA still send American astronauts on a Russian spacecraft? Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching.